hundreds of students on the march. Converging on the Capitol and coming from all directions. Skipping school to make a strong statement. We want freedom. That Colorado's Latinos are angry about Arizona's new immigration law. And even though we're in the comfort of Colorado right now, families, friends, and loved ones in Arizona are being ripped apart by this racist law. The law, just signed by Arizona Governor Jan Brewer, allows police there to demand ID or proof of citizenship from anyone on the street the police suspect might be in the country illegally. This law represents what they did to Jews in Germany. Stop racial profiling! If this happens with Mexicans, then what can happen next? Stop racial profiling! Asian profiling, African American profiling. They're going to want to start sending everybody back to where they're from. Fear suddenly energizing the state's fastest growing voting bloc to fight back. And these are students who are raising up their voices today and saying, this is wrong. This law promotes racism and hate. And we recognize that we have power as young people. Today, it's the middle of the struggle. And that's why we're here today. It's going to be a long fight. Just off the Colorado University campus, down a flight of stairs, Underneath the grow lights, Pierre Warner had a dream. I was going to be the Bellagio of medical marijuana dispensaries. And a problem, security. Well, I guess we are targets. The plan was for Warner to sleep in the back. So this is where the magic happens, here. <laughs> right next to his pot plants, and around 5 this morning, he heard a noise. These guys woke me up. Two guys. This glass was broken out. <clears throat> breaking in. But if they thought that Dr. Reefer, the dispensary, was an easy target. These guys were punks, amateurs. They had no idea they would run into. I am Dr. Reefer. Dr. Reefer himself. Oh, here's one. Dr. Reefer, crime fighter. Warner caught the two thieves in an upstairs engineering office. I've done hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat in prison. As they made a terrible yeah, right. mistake. Oh, I was cooking a chimichanga burrito. It's a stupid punk. Dr. Reefer was armed only with a pipe. Now, not that kind. A big metal one, enough to keep one thief at bay, but not the other. And it, he clocked me right here. The fight was on. Oh, and so it looks really cool if you go with me. <laughs> so, all right, I grabbed him. Bam! Bam! And Dr. Reefer subdued the man who hit him, handing him to the Boulder police. We are concerned about these types of businesses. Are Worried that three marijuana dispensaries have been robbed in just the last month. And the community is going to have to make some decisions about how to handle this. Maybe that's why Warner is sending a message. I think this sends a message to all these punks and robbers and thieves that to stay away from the dispensaries because we'll fight back. Down a flight of stairs where all the grass is growing. All businesses start off with some blood, sweat, and tears. Dr. Reefer is ready to defend his turf. And I just donated my share. 